It's day one after heartbreak and there's a stale pounding in your head. Your eyes are dried up glossy and bloodshot red because last night turned out to be the kind of movie with a disappointing end. Your heart is heavy, yet your chest feels empty, wondering if there's still time to salvage the pieces of you you had to leave behind because no matter how many times you try to get up, something still pulls you down into that same sunken spot in your bed. It's day one after heartbreak and you're still staring at the plaster in your ceiling, pretending your ceiling is a projector screen as you replay every good and bad moment on repeat in your head, wondering why you're draining yourself ruminating on this when you know looking backward is distracting you from looking ahead. It's not like rehearsing the perfect would've, could've, should've said is gonna take you back in time so you can change what you wish you never said. Your mind plagues you with the distasteful question of what's next, but you don't wanna think about what's next when you're still discontent with what's now because it's only day one after heartbreak. It's day one after heartbreak and you should know better to put your phone down. Scrolling through old pictures and messages? Come on. It's time to move on. Set it down on your nightstand. I know that temptation you're battling in your head. If saying I miss you was going to cut it, it wouldn't have worked the first time you hit send. Rather than filling your mind with empty hope, you need to fill yourself with energy. Get up and feed yourself. It's 4.30 p.m. and the last meal you had was yesterday before you broke up with him. But I know, you don't have an appetite. How can you expect yourself to get up, eat, and get dressed when you still haven't even swallowed the reality that his name will never again appear at the top of your texts? Rather than inhaling the tears that are dripping down your lips, you need to breathe. You need new air in your lungs so your mind can work through this mess. Don't open his story, open your window so you have circulation to get out of your head. This is step one in moving on. The first move to see the good that's ahead. Because even though you might not see it now, time will reveal to you that this was the best beginning that had to end because one day after heartbreak, you'll step outside and see saturated color again. You'll remember how sweet the crisp air tastes and that you can still enjoy the windy car drives without your hand in his hand. You'll rekindle old friendships and travel to new and forgotten lands while appreciating the art of tearing up the canvas of yesterday's future plans. You'll start picking up new hobbies, discover new genres that speak to you so well it feels like they listen, and you'll create feel-good playlists for Friday night bonfires that no longer remind you of him. And one day after heartbreak, you'll have the gift of retrospect, but even more than that, you'll learn the art of accepting the past, intentionally forgiving yourself, finding comfort in the mix-ups and mishaps, and you can find hope in knowing that even if he was your first love, that doesn't mean he's going to be your last. But for now, it's day one after heartbreak, and there's a stale pounding in your head. Your eyes are dried up glossy and bloodshot red, but don't forget that tomorrow is the start of a better movie with a promising end. <laughs>